Hello friend, in this video, you will learn that how to make this kind of street light in easy way. So let's start this tutorial. Press Shift A, under Mesh, select Circle. Then expand this Add Circle option. Change number of vertices, that is 8. Now press Tab. To enter in edit mode, then press S, then 2 to scale it 2 times. Now press 1 for front view. Now press E, then G to extrude on G axis. Then press Ctrl to snap it like this. Now press E, then press Enter to confirm it. Now press S, then 0.75. Press E, then G to extrude on G axis, then press 1 to scale it. Now press E, then press Enter to confirm it. Now press S. Then 0.75 to scale it. Now press E, then G, then press 2 to extrude on G axis. Now press S, then 0.75 to scale it. Now next we have to add a sphere here. So press Shift A and select here UV sphere now change segment value that is 8 now press G then G to move on G axis select this vertex then press L to select link part then press H to hide it now Turn on face selection, then double click on this edge, also double click on this edge, now press Ctrl plus to increase, to increase selection, now press Ctrl I for inverse selection, now press X and select here faces, now press Alt Edge to unhide. Now select face from upper part then press L to select link part. Now press S to scale then press G then G and move on G axis like this. Turn on a selection mode. Double click on this edge holding shift double click on this edge. Now right click under loop tools select bridge now double click on this edge now press e then press enter to confirm extrude now press s to scale like this now press e then g to extrude on G axis like this. Now change its extrude value something like this. You can increase its value what value you want. Now press N for this chat panel then press shift S and select here cursor to select it. Now click on this view and change 3D cursor location value. So change here X location value around 4. Now under this tool properties select here spin tools then Turn on here Y axis, 
then click on this plus icon and just spin like this now change angle value that is minus 180 degree then also change steps value that is 4, 24 to make it smooth now click on the select sun tools now double click on this edge now press shift s and select here cursor to selected now press shift a and select here uv sphere now press g then g to move on g axis like this now select edge from upper part then press l to select link part then press h to hide now turn on face selection mode double click on this face holding shift double click on this face now press ctrl plus to increase selection like this now press ctrl i for inward selection then press x and select here faces to delete face now press alt h to unhide faces now click on this face now press l to select link part then press g then g to move on g axis like this now turn on edge selection mode double click on this edge holding shift double click on this edge now right click under loop tools select bridge now select this last edge so cl double click on it now press e then g to extrude on g axis now press S to scale like this. Now press G, then G to move on G axis like this. Now press Ctrl R for loop cuts. Now press S to scale like this. Now press Ctrl B for edge bevel. Use a scroll button to increase and decrease loops. Now left click to confirm it. Okay, now we have to make next part. So first we have to enable add on. So click on this edit, then click on this preferences, click on this add on and search here extra curve and enable it. Now press shift A under curve scroll down and select here curly curves now change curve tabs and change its value that is 4 select this vertices then press shift as select here cursor to select it press tab for object mode then right click under set origin select here origin to 3d cursor Now press R then G then 90 degree to rotate on G axis. Now press R then X then 90 degree to rotate on X axis. Now we have this kind of shape. So press S to scale like this. Now press G, then X to move on X axis like this. Now press R, then Y to rotate on Y axis like this. Now press Tab to enter into edit mode. Select this handle. Now press G and just paint shape like this. Now 
click on this object data properties change here 3d option under this fill mode select here full then expand this geometry option and increase bevel here like this now press tap to enter into edit mode select this last vertices now press alt s to decrease its radius like this now press tap for object mode increase resolution value of bevel so change its value that is 8 now scroll up and also change resolution value that is 24 scroll down again and in bevel option turn on this fill cap option now we have to make ball here so press shift a under the mesh select uv sphere now press g then g to move on g axis now press s to scale like this now select it then click on this modify modify properties then click on this add modifier and select here subdivision surface now right click and select here set as mode now we have to give here torus so press shift a under mesh under torus object select select here torus like this now press r then x then 90 degree to rotate on x axis now press s to scale like this now press tab for object mode then press g then x to move on x axis now press s to scale like this click on this items and change here y location value to make it align also change y location value of this object so change here y location value like this now select this torus now press s to scale like this now we have this nice street light i hope you learned something from this video